Hi guys and welcome. In this video, I'm gonna show you how you can connect the UiPath Assistant and the UiPath Robot to the orchestrator. Now the simplest way to connect the robot is by opening UiPath Assistant, which this is exactly what I'm gonna do. I have just opened the start menu and I'm gonna write Assistant and I have here this screen. Now you cannot see the start menu because I have on the other screen. So this is the UiPath Assistant. And as you can see here, I'm not connected to the orchestrator and I can do that by just simply sign in. Now you can stay offline and to decide to have the process which you have already installed on your local computer. So how do you connect to the orchestrator? Now we're gonna use this method, the sign in. And in case you don't have this, I'm gonna go here on the preferences and click on the sign in. Now this will open the browser, which in my case, it's Firefox. So I'm gonna use to connect with the username and password and I have wrote my username and password and I'm gonna press sign in. Now what will happen is that you're gonna have this message box when it said when the system dialog prompts, click open application. So what will happen here, you're gonna have probably a pop-up dialog issued by the browser because the browser is trying to access an external application, which in this case is the UiPath Assistant. Now it's trying to call, but with some arguments that this authentication has been made. I'm gonna show you just in a moment, that's called a token. But if I'm gonna switch back to the assistant, I have here the robot is connected to the orchestrator. Now I need to tell you that this method is called the modern approach. And I'm gonna tell you just a bit of history just to understand why UiPath did this change. So there are two methods how you can connect the robot to the orchestrator. The one which you probably know was required to add the machine name and the robot to the orchestrator. Based on these two settings, the robot can be identified by the orchestrator. Now the new one, which is called modern, it works using the browser. So the flow is like that. First, the user is accessing the browser and based on the username and password, which in my case, I have used the username and password, but you can use the Gmail or other authentication method. Then the orchestrator is sent back to the browser a value which is named token. Now token is just imagine like a string, like a secret key. And it's the agreement between orchestrator and the browser that this authentication is valid. Now there are some properties which I don't want to discuss too much right now, but beside the value of the token, there are actually some dates, some availability date, and some things that are specific to this authentication. Then the browser, it's called the UiPath Assistant, which in my case, that call is made invisible, and you need to agree. Now it's sending back to the UiPath Assistant that token that has been retrieved by the orchestrator. Then the UiPath Assistant, it communicates using that token with the orchestrator. So there is here an agreement. And based on this token, it authenticates the user here. So this is the way how the modern connection works right now. Great, now these two you can identify separately. So the way how you do that, I'm gonna go sign out. And this will issue the sign out from the robot, but it's not needed to log out from the browser. I can still keep the session, that token to be available in the browser. So I'm gonna minimize this. And if I go here to the preference, I'm gonna drag and drop the other screen. I go here to orchestrator settings. I have these two drop down. The first one is service URL and it's uh, the method that it's using the modern approach using the browser. And the second one, the machine key, is something which you have already know. But I'm gonna discuss that later in the video. So how does this service URL works? I'm gonna use again, sign in. And as you can see, my username and password has not been asked again. This is because the browser is still logged in to the orchestrator and basically is just sending the same token to the assistant. So, and that's the reason this authentication succeeded. So let's go back to the cloudupad.com and tell you a bit of the history. Okay, so now let's clarify something. This orchestrator service has been created 21 hours ago and I didn't make any particular change. And basically, if I'm gonna enter here, I expect to have tour of the orchestrator. So I didn't make any particular settings. I have just created the user and I have just created my tenant, okay? So I'm just gonna skip the tour. So without making any adjustment, I was able to authenticate the robot. So no prior settings like adding the machine key, adding the robot and things like that. And that's because the authentication works differently. So how this was possible? Well, 
First of all, if you go here on the tenant, you can see that my robot works. Now, the provision type is set to modern, and I have already the value, this is the machine name, and the robot doesn't have the name, but instead it contains my authentication username and has this autogen in front of it. Well, I cannot change any particular settings, but I'm gonna show you just in a moment how these robots are created. So first, this method works only if you have here on the settings, security. You have this checkbox allowed both authentication method and the robot key authentication. Basically, this one tells the orchestrator to allow both of the methods to use in the same time. Now, if you're gonna uncheck this, only the classic way it will work. However, if you go here on the general, on new accounts, you cannot activate classic folders. So classic folders using the old approach has been deleted from the orchestrator. And as you can see, this one is deprecated. So you have to definitely try to migrate all the accounts to the new ones, to using the workspaces. Now in your case, this one could be checked. And the reason is because you have the account or the orchestrator, the tenant in this case, created from 2020, before to make this restriction. But for new accounts, you cannot enable this. So the only option which you have to log into orchestrator is by using the modern folder. So with this said, let's have a look how this robot is created. Now this is created per each user. So in my case, I have only one user. And if you want to disable this feature, you go here on the users and under my user, I'm gonna go and click edit. And I have here the attended robot, which is optional. Well, this checkbox, it says automatically create an attended robot for this user. Is this robot which you have here. Now, if I'm gonna uncheck this, it will disable the functionality to create automatically the auto-generated robot. And by the way, this is enabled by default and it's enabled by default only the attended robot at the moment of this recording, by the way, which is February, 2021, only the attended robot is set this by default. However, you can create an unattended robot using the same thing. So for the same username to have an attended robot also. Now, I'm not gonna create an attended robot because the method works the same. So I'm gonna hit cancel. And actually let's disable this attended robot because I have here a connection which is succeed. So I have the robot connected and let's see what's happening. I'm gonna disable this and click update. And it will set folder will not have, okay, we'll have this error from the orchestrator. Go here on the robots, I'm gonna set leave. And I have no robots are currently defined. And here I should have connected but unlicensed. This is probably because it takes some time, the refreshness of the robot. Now I'm gonna force this. So either you can exit, uh, actually let's hit an exit because I don't want to reissue the same token. Okay. so. Right now it's tell that robot does not exist. So if I'm gonna click here, it will take me to the orchestrator to make an additional settings. Now I know what happened in my case. So I'm gonna go here in the user and I have here robot disable, which is uh, disable. I'm gonna go edit and enable the attended robot uh, and I can uh, go and hit update. Great, so now I'm connected to orchestrator. Let's try to create an unattended robot and see what is the username for that? So I'm gonna use my password, uh, which I have here on my computer. I'm using the credential, Windows credential, and that's the username. I'm gonna hit update. And uh, I was able to say successfully, and if I go here under the robots, I have two robots. So how do you make distinguish between these two? Well, it's this type. So this one, it says RP Developer Pro, and this one, it's unattended. Now I don't have any other machine to show you how this robot is connected to have it in the same time, but the flow is the same. Now I want to show you something related to folder. So as you already know, you can specify right now settings which are available per workspace or per tenant or per classic folder. And you can specify these folders and permissions. So for instance, you can have a look, what are the settings? What are the permissions that this robot has? So it has three roles that is the administrator, and it has access to the share folder and the personal folder. Now we can change these settings if you go here under the users. And these robots, they will inherit the same credentials and the same permission that the user has. Of course, not related to the administration. So 
so it's related to the orchestrator access, but instead of the settings which you can change here. And I'm referring here to the assets, to the folders, and to the specific things that each robot can do. Well, how you can do that, I'm gonna just tell you in a later video. So a couple of takeaways. The community version for new created users, it allows only to use the modern approach. They probably want to remove this classic, so I cannot create this classic. However, I expect to have in the enterprise to have support for the classic connections. Now, probably this migration will happen for the classical one. I don't know, I don't have any time frame, but I'm expect all the users to have migrated because this is a deprecated. So at least this is what they declared. The classic folders are deprecated. Great, now let's have a look to the old method. And now I'm using a second account in the UiPath Automation Cloud. And as you can see, my dev is created 41 days ago. So it's quite old. Now if I go back to the UiPath Assistant, you can see that I'm still logged into the orchestrator, but I'm using the old account. Now it doesn't mean that if you just log in in the browser in one account, doesn't need to be synchronized with the UiPath Assistant. The old token is still kept by the UiPath Assistant in the application memory. So here I have one account, and if I go here in the browser, I have a second account. Now this is not recommended, but it's something which I want to highlight. So if I'm gonna open this orchestrator service, you can see that the classical folder is still active. So I have here default, I'm gonna go here under the tenant, and here in the settings, in the general, I have the classical folder which are still deprecated, but this is checked and you cannot uncheck. Now, if you're gonna delete this tenant from the automation cloud and you're gonna create again, you will have the same behavior like my account. So be careful with that. Now, because on this account, I have the classical folders enabled, I have the ability to create robots using the method which I already know. You need to go here under the tenant and then under the machines. And here I have two machines here. Go back in the classical folder, in the robots, and you need to define here using a plus a standard robot or a floating point robot. Now I have here one defined, but it's not connected. So let's do that. I'm gonna go and say sign out. Now this will trigger the sign out to the browser. Now I don't want to sign out, so I'm gonna close. And I'll enter and say sign in. And because I'm already logged in using my second account, the browser is sending a new authentication method to the robot. Now in this case, I am connected to the orchestrator, but you cannot acquire a license. And this is caused because I have something changed here under my settings. Great, if I go here under the tenant, I can see that I have two robots created. Uh, this one is classic and this one is modern. So let's give a try to this robot. Now in order to be able to connect this, I need to respect the classical method. So in this case, I need to log in using my um, machine name and computer name is the all mechanism, which we know already that you can connect to orchestrator. So that's the reason I have this message, which it says cannot acquire a license. So let's give a try. I'm gonna go and hit preference. And I'll choose the second authentication method. So I'm gonna go in hit sign out. I'll close this browser because I don't want to log in from the browser. I choose the machine key. Now I go here to the machines. That's my computer name. I'm gonna go hit copy. And I have here this one and hit paste and hit connect. Well, this URL, I already had it from here. So as you can see, it match the same from here. So I'm going here to the tenant, to the robots. And now I have my connected robot using the classic. Well, to connect a robot using a classical way, you need to go here in the machines to have the machine. By the way, this name needs to be matched with the one from your computer. So I'm gonna open again the CMD command prompt. And I have here my who I am from the previous. So this is my computer name and this is my username, which is called Lenovo. So this name needs to match from here and to the robot which is defined here in the classical folder, here in the, the robots. If I go and hit edit, the name needs to respect using the username. And the domain, by the way, is the computer name slash the username. So these are the two prerequisites in order to add a classical robot. So this is how you connect the robot 
to the orchestrator using the classic and the modern way. Now if you are having some troubles to this, drop me a comment to see what problem are you facing. Without further ado, I'm Daniel and I'm gonna catch you next time. Bye!